Okay, so today video is a little bit different topic. Um, I'm discussing about my personal journey towards celiac disease. Uh, most of you might get shocked what is celiac disease and what is all about, but I got a lot of pressure to make this video. Uh, since a month, I'm doing some research on these things and what exactly is it. Um, last one you have seen a lot of pictures in the hospitals uh, where my son were having some endoscopies and biopsies and those stuff thank you for reaching me out and giving me best wishes uh yeah so both of my son got a genetic disease that's called celiac and um, it's an autoimmune disease there is no vaccine um, there is no medicines uh, so it's all about the lifestyle you have to change the lifestyle so it's a roller coaster of emotions at the moment um but i'm relieved that i got the answers um how it started with what happened how the things came to my life is just uh, unpredictable um we didn't have any kind of a symptoms or there was no medical history or anything um, I just randomly went to the neurologist doctor where we find out that okay let's have a appointment with gastro doctor and then see where we end up and how the things will go um, we had a random blood test like the way um, most of the doctors starts with the doctor suggests me to go for endoscopy and let's have a biopsy from the stomach when he said biopsy as a mom i was just like having a heart attack <laughs> like why biopsy and it's from the stomach so he told me it's normal procedure we do a test we don't want to label the things without having a proper test so yeah that's the beginning uh when they did the endoscopy for my elder son so his food pipe was swelled up literally like having a too much swelling that uh to move the endoscopy camera was a bit hard for them and when they reach inside uh, there were some symptoms that this is celiac and um, doctor came within a 15 minutes i guess and he told me that it's it is what i was suggesting you before but um, now i can tell you that this is disease and you need to meet a dietitian you need to start this journey as usual i was lost like the way when i heard autism first time in my life it was a similar experience when i heard celiac in my life and i guess uh, for a minute i have no idea because uh, especially if you know um, india and pakistan household the wheat is the main thing we eat parathas we eat breads uh, we create a lot of things with the wheat so it was just like a shocking for me from where i need to start but yeah i did um, the gluten free uh, flours which we use were a bit tough for me because if I give you an idea, the first day I make the bread, it took me three hours, literally three hours to create one bread. And uh, most of the bread uh, turns out like a tortilla bread, but the taste is good. Uh, there are a lot of um, a different, different variations which you can use and uh, create similar like a paratha, we, which we usually eat in our household. And Alhamdulillah, I have adopted a lot of uh, things. And my life is becoming easy uh, yeah i was going to a depression in the beginning because i had no idea what the uh, diet will be and what are the substitute i have but now I'm, as much i'm learning and uh, understanding the thing i got the grip and it's not that hard uh, only the thing when you go outside you need to take care of a lot of things now so i will just give you an idea about what is celiac because most of the people who are listening to me it must be like come to the point come to the point uh, Celiac disease and autoimmune disease where consuming gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, um, it could be malt as well, leads to the damage in small intestine. This can result in the severe health issues. So managing diet is crucial. So mostly the things which you will be using is from your household. And um, I can tell you, I need to make the breads at home now. I need to make parathas at home now. I need to make those chicken nuggets, KFC uh, chicken and those things at home because um, the contamination of wheat can be found in, in different uh, food chains. So if they are cooking um, fried chicken there, which, uh, which have traces of wheat, so there are higher chances even if you fry the french fries in that oil, your child is consuming wheat. 
and that autoimmune get active what are the severe things that can happen if you don't control is the small intestine cancer um, pre-diabetic conditions in early age heart attack um, how it damages it's uh, it's like that autoimmune start eating all the vitamin d's from your body b6 b12 so yeah it's a bit tough and serious thing which you need to consider now the discussion which i will be sharing with you it's it might trigger you because um, i know a lot of spatially aid parents are watching me and a lot of people um, who are in my community are following me because of uh, my specialization special needs and same time they listen to me because I keep the things positively and even my son is autistic but I take that parenting really easy and softly that the people feel like oh it's normal so this information which I will be sharing with you first thing is, is I'm not a doctor you consult with your doctor and um, get more details about your kids so there's a notable link between the neurodivergence and celiac disease research has shown that there could be i will still say it again there could be children who are neurodivergent may have higher risk of developing celiac disease the reason for this connection can vary and still being studied but it is thought that the immune system difference and and gastro issues which are sometimes more prevalent in our neurodivergent kids may contribute in higher risk so if you have a neurodivergent kid and you have symptoms like um, like digestive issues, irritation, skin patches, allergies, then I will suggest you to visit a doctor as soon as possible and get test. As I discussed uh, that it's a genetic disease, so there are higher chances that as a parent, one of you have the similar symptoms. Um, I tested my TTGA, I did CBC, I did thyroid test, I did SGPT and IgA. These are the common tests which you need to do um, to assess that my, either you have the same symptoms or either you are also celiac disease patient or no. So in my case, I am negative. I didn't get the positive result that I'm a celiac disease. So um, it could be my ex-husband, which I have uh, no idea so far. So I'm waiting for the results for him. Now let's discuss about what are the things you can avoid. So anything which is uh, gluten containing grains, it could be wheat, barley, rice, uh, it could be like so far I can say cookies, breads, um, outside food, my fried food that have uh, some breadcrumbs or anything that's somewhere you need to avoid now i have already discussed about cross contamination now in your household you need to be really really careful for that as well why because uh, there are higher chances that might be you have a household where you used to where you used to have wheat uh, might be in those um, cutlery items or either the frying pan you have used the wheat before so there could be some traces of wheat remaining uh, most of the thing which I have thrown away from my kitchen at the moment are the plastic stuff, wooden stuff, because these things always have a higher risk that they contain some of those traces. Um, so I bought all the things which is in steel. Uh, why I always uh, why I'm using the steel now because cleaning steel is easy. Number one thing, um, re remaining residues are always clear there. That's another thing. So yeah. I'm a steel baby now and <laughs> I have all the things in my household in steel. I have created one specific cabinet which have only the things which is gluten free. Um, no other things should be in that cabinet so anything like a breadcrumbs or any other stuff which you used to have even soya sauce I have put them in a separate section because yeah might be sometimes you have a guest and you need to use it so you need to make sure if you are like not on gluten free diet then you need to make sure the pots you are using are not the similar pots which you will use for the patient who have a celiac disease it's a bit tricky but we have to start somewhere and being a mom you can do anything so yeah if i can start the journey you can start this journey easily all it's just lifestyle just change your eating habits um stop using the processed food yeah now 
that's the trouble thing which I told you. Now let's let's talk about something good and nice as well. So what are the things you can easily eat? Dry fruits, whole foods like fruits, vegetables. These doesn't have any gluten, and you don't need to think about it. Some uh, some of the gluten free grains are like rice, maize. Um, you can use oats as well, but just for the oats, uh, make sure to check the packaging that they don't have any traces of uh, wheat, barley, or any other thing. You can have some uh, supplements as well because in the beginning I've heard a lot of people have uh, headaches. So considering about vitamins, minerals and uh, make sure you have a dietitian on board because uh, that dietitian can help you to understand what are the alternative of the food you can have in your normal day now. Now what are the support and resource you can have? So um, NHS UK, they have the whole book on um, celiac disease. You can easily read that, what could be the symptoms, how to protect your family from that uh, contamination and how to change your lifestyle and household routine. You can read that from there. There are a lot of groups on the Facebook which I have uh, have joined and I'm reading a lot of things about that because I'm still a beginner. I'm just giving you this information so in case if you and your family member are going through these things, um, you can help them in the early stage now and just change the lifestyle. That's all. Thanks for listening to me and listening about my journey. If you found this video helpful, then please like, comment as well as um, any of your family member or any person who is around you who have a neurodivergent child or any person who has similar kind of a symptoms, uh, then you can easily identify it. Then do share this video. Thank you very much and have a nice day.